How's it going, Nick? I know you guys haven't got back out on the field yet, but where do they have you working right now? Are you strictly at center? Have they got you kind of cross-training anywhere else? The uh, the interior. So I've been working at center, a little bit at left guard, a little bit at right guard. Uh, people who maybe haven't seen you or didn't watch you at Yale, how would you describe your game and yourself as, a, as an offensive lineman? Uh, I think I – so, you know, what we used to run, uh, we were a team that was based at a wide zone. We had a, a decent amount of gap scheme as well, very similar to what we run here. Um, and so I, I think I play with speed. Um, I try and play with good feet and, and a sense of violence and, uh, and attitude. Hey, Nick, Mike, you have a Gamecock Central. When you decided to come to South Carolina, I think a lot of people will instantly bring up the name Tony Reno because of a recruit that the Gamecocks are looking at. Outside of Tony, what were some of the other factors that went into your decision? Absolutely. I felt like it was a place that uh, that I could come and really fine tune my game um, in an attempt to make it to the next level. Uh, and so I really bought into Coach Teasley and, and Coach Atkins and obviously uh, Coach Beamer. Uh, and I felt like I could really succeed in a place like this. Nick, uh, one of the things that Shane Beamer kind of cited about you was that you were, you know, the team captain uh, when you were over at Yale. Uh, I guess what was that uh, experience like for you uh, last year, and, and uh, how much of that do you feel you, or in what ways do you feel you can bring that over uh, to, to South Carolina? Absolutely, it was an incredible experience, and uh, so I spent four years, four and a half years at Yale, um, and and really proud of what we did with that team and, and the culture we built. We uh, we won a championship this past season, and, and it looks like the guys are. Uh, crushing it already to, to start the spring. So uh, I really honed in on my leadership skills and, and how to be a good teammate and a good person and, and a good player. Uh, and so hopefully those skills are transferable to here um, and, uh, and they have been thus far. Nick, I was just wondering what your take was on, on Coach Day's strength program and what it's been like these last couple months with that. I love, his, uh, I love his strength program. So I'm used to uh, being based out of an Olympic style uh, a lot of squat, deadlift, clean, uh, and his approach is a little unconventional, uh, but it's a lot of functional and applicable strength for what we need as uh, linemen. So I think it's a lot of core strength, hamstrings, hips, uh, groin, a lot of stuff that you need to generate power, uh, he really hones in on. Nick, you talk about the culture you built. You know, what went into doing that and how, as someone that's been in a place with culture that's won a championship. How do you see that translating in the culture being built here at South Carolina in the first few months that you've been here? Absolutely. So I think the biggest thing up there was we were a player led team. Uh, we had guys who bought into the standards and values uh, that we wanted to set for the team. And, and, you know, we had really, really high expectations. But as you know, um, you got to pair those high expectations with a high amount of work. And so uh, hopefully, um, we're able to, you know, I'm able to bring a little sense of that here, um, which I could already feel from the guys. There's a really great culture here, um, really high expectations, and, and guys take that very seriously. How's life uh, adjusting to the South as, as opposed to uh, what you've been used to, I guess, your entire life? I, uh, I think I belong in the South a little bit. I'm, I've, been fitting in, uh, I've been fitting in just fine. I love it down here. It's the best food you've had down here since you've been here? Best food I've had down here? That's a tough question. I am going to I'm going to go straight to the PR department here and say that the Gamecock uh, nutrition food go. is fantastic. Smart man. Yep. First of it, there you go. I think I get some brownie points there. <laughs> and you talked about wide zone and, and some gap scheme stuff you did at Yale. How much of a does that decrease maybe your learning curve as you try to learn this system and try to these younger guys who are learning it for the first time. Absolutely. So there's only so many different ways you could ID a front and and, uh, and uh, call protection and, and whatnot. So I think that I am uh, I'm way ahead of the game in that sense, uh, and that I've seen a uh, I've seen a lot of different um, schemes and and understanding. So when you first come in, you're kind of in a whirlwind because you're behind in you know strength. You're behind in learning the playbook, and so I think I have a little advantage there, and hopefully. Uh, can spend that extra time with the young guys, getting them up to speed. Nick, outside of adjusting to not having Pepe's anymore, how's it been the uh, adjustment to working with Spencer Rowler and, and just being able to get on the same page as him? Absolutely. So, uh, I mean, like I said before, the, the guys down here work really, really hard. And so it's fun 
to go into an environment where the expectation is that you, you work really hard and, and you give everything you have. So obviously Spencer's a great teammate and a great leader. Um, and there's a plethora of other guys. Really, I spent a majority of my time with the O-line and guys like um, Vershawn Lee, for example, uh, extremely hard worker and, and, uh, and really teaching me the ropes down here. You're one of the more senior members of this offensive line, but also one of the newer ones. What's that dynamic kind of been like of trying to sort of balance learning things yourself with taking on that sort of leadership role? Absolutely. So I think that goes back to uh, the question that was just posed before. I think that I'm at a, a little bit of an advantage understanding wise, which allows me to kind of not sit back, but really focus my time on maybe technique and stuff that, that Coach Teasley's working. So. I uh, I kind of love that little yin and yang of being new, but also I've been through the ringer for five seasons. I think you said you like playing with violence on the field. When does that violence come? Is it as soon as you uh, put on the cleats b before the start of practice? Does it happen in games, or, or in how, how do you how do you turn it off afterwards? Uh, I think college athletics, you got to have have that violence in you at all times. You, you need to attack the weight room that way. You need to attack your nutrition that way. Uh, you need to attack the classroom that way to stay eligible, right? So um, I think I try and use that approach in everything. Now, the high-end violence, yeah, that's got to come out when you, you strap on the, the shoulder pads or maybe you get tossed out of here. <laughs> Thanks, guys.